Hey, this video is the third part of frequency missing. So just to recap the last part, we were doing an interview with Sylvia Glanz from the Duke Silver Glanz Club, but then some bastard had edited it and that's where we are. So let's see who messed up our interview. Welcome to Frequency Missing. This game is played in landscape mode with the home button to the right. I told you there's no bloody home button. Main menu. <laughs> okay. Continue. Chapter 3. Da -da -da -da. Something fishy is going on. First Richard disappears, and then someone edits my segment. I'd better call the club and ask Sylvia if she knows what happened to the interview. Hello? The Duke Silverglans Club. Victor speaking. Hello, Victor. It's Patricia from Radio IDUN. Hello. How may I help you? I'd like to talk to Sylvia. Is she there? Now's not a good time. Why is that? Samuel is furious with Sylvia and the whole staff. It's probably best if you don't come here ever again. Good luck. What do you mean? Hey! How dare you hanging up on me? I'm glad I called instead of walking over there. Someone edited my segment, but who? I'll check around the office and see if anyone knows anything. Carl's not here, but he'll probably be here shortly. Yeah, he would be the best person to ask, because he works as an audio technician. But since he's not here, let's see who can help us. Right, um, okay. To the lobby. Monica doesn't seem to be at her desk. Right. Nobody's here. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> the chief's office. <laughs> doesn't smell as much as cigars in here today. The chief has to know what happened to my broadcast. Hello. Do you have a minute? Yes. Come in. Let's ask him. Yes, uh, how may I help you? The club. My, my broadcast. Um, my broadcast. What happened to it? What do you mean? It aired. You should be pleased, no? That wasn't my broadcast that went on the air. Explain. I interviewed Samuel, but it wasn't any good. Nothing he said to me was on that broadcast. Patricia, you had one job. You were supposed to run a story about the club. You're telling me you didn't even manage to do that? Yes. I talked to Sylvia Silverglands instead, and that was a lot more interesting. But someone must have edited my broadcast. I have no idea what you're talking about. Those were my questions to Sylvia, but someone had edited in Samuel's answers. Are you saying someone tampered with your interview? I don't know. I refuse to believe that anyone here would do such a thing. Someone must have done it. Well, it if happens. it wasn't someone from here, then who? It's best that you leave it alone. Uh, but... Hey, hey, no buts. Just let it go. Let it go, let it go. I can't fucking let it go, Roy. My broadcast. The Goodbye. The club. The Silver Glance Club opening a restaurant isn't much to report on, is it? Why did we run this story? Down at your level, there's really no need for you to worry about politics. And you should be pleased about that. Checks and balances? That's good. You catch on quickly. I understand what Richard sees in you. Good. So what did we get? You got your first story. Be content with that. My broadcast. The goodbye. M goodbye. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's all you can say? Uh-huh. There's just music on the radio right now. Just wondering what it was. To the lobby. 
Open it. Dun dun. Actually, Let's see if we can, if we can. Maybe Carl is. Carl's back. in my office. Nope, Carl is not back. Okay. To the lobby. Jeez, I haven't played this game in a while, so I have to. Richard's office. Stephanie seems to have occupied it. All right, let's go in there. She seems to have made herself at home here. Mm, Stephanie, 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 where are you? Mm. Oh. Hello, Stephanie. You're Patricia, right? Yep. You got a minute? In I the, can probably spare a few in minutes. The game I am, what do you but want? Not in the real life. Yeah, in the game I am, but not in the real life now. <laughs> Richard's office. <laughs> My broadcast. My broadcast? Yes, about that. If you make changes, you have to tell me. I don't appreciate being uh, surprised with things like changes. this during a live broadcast. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It wasn't me that edited it. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, really. Rui? The Rui? interview. I interviewed Sylvia Silverglanz, not that idiot Samuel. That's the one I heard yesterday. You've still got a lot to learn, but for a beginner, it wasn't bad. Thanks. Don't let that go to your head now. No, absolutely not. Good. Anything else? The interview. Change enough of changes. Who edited my broadcast? It wasn't me, that's for sure. Of course not, but someone did. Don't give me any vague accusations. I didn't mean to. It's your responsibility to make sure that your material is fit to broadcast. But... No buts. I don't want to hear another word about this. Oh, bitch. Changes. Ch enough about the broadcast. Thanks. Was there something else you wanted? My broadcast. Goodbye. Richard's off. Why are you in Richard's office? He wasn't using it, so why should it stay empty? He's only been missing a few days. How does my using his office change anything? He's still missing. A bit disrespectful, don't you think? Isn't it a bit disrespectful of him not to let anyone use such a nice office? You're twisting my words. I am? Richard's office. Goodbye. My Rich my Richard's office. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. To the lobby. Maybe let's go back to my office now. Maybe Carol's back now. Let's see. Yeah, right. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, let's see what's up in the newsroom. The room. newsroom. No live broadcast I can interrupt this time. Monica is down here reading. Oh, Monica is. Oh, okay. All right. Monica, are you on a break? Yeah, I sit down here sometimes when we're not on the air. Nice and quiet. What's on your mind? My broadcast. Something was wrong with my broadcast. Really? I thought it sounded great. It had been edited after I handed it in last night. Someone changed all the responses. What? But that's terrible. Sure is. The interview. My questions were to Sylvia Silverglanz, not Samuel. Well, that's just terrible. Who would do that? I don't know. That's what I want. That's the what interview. I'm wondering. Workflow. Enough about workflow. How can something like this happen? I don't know. You gave me the tape yesterday and I handed it to Carl so he could work his magic with the audio. I know Chief listened to it. I think he was curious about your first story. Oh. I didn't know he listened to our work. 
Oh, yeah. He makes sure that everything is of the highest quality. He can be difficult to read sometimes, but I thought he seemed pleased. Now, Stephanie always listens to the material the day before it goes on the air. Then we put it down here until it's time to broadcast it. So it could have been more or less anyone? Yeah, yeah, I, I guess so. But who? Enough about the bra- Thanks. Was there anything else you wanted, huh? Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Well, let's see what are the options. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. My- My- No, I think that's all. My Goodbye. See you later, Monica. Not there. Okay. Oh, let's go out of here. Where are the stairs? Where are the bleeding stairs? To the lobby. Oh, okay. Carl! Hello, Patricia. Ah, there you are. Congratulations on your first story. Someone had edited it. What? It sounded great yesterday when I mixed it. There's something fishy about that place. Richard was a member there. Maybe he discovered something, and that's why he's missing. We haven't had time to fix that tape you found. Do you think there's something on it? There's only one way to find out. Come to our office and we can examine the tape. Okay. Carl's in my office. Oi, stop whistling. Hello, Patricia. Are you ready to go to work on the tape? Yes. Yes, let's do this. I've started to clean it up, but you might as well learn how to do it. I have a built-in function on my tape recorder that can help you. You just have to drag right or left across the wheel to clean up the sound. Keep looking until you get a clear sound. Okay. Let's do this. Samuel, my son, Samuel. Did you hear that? No. What? A tiny click right before he says, my son, Samuel. I, Alan Silverglance, hereby give my entire fortune to my son, Samuel. Yes, I hear it now. Someone has edited the will. Who could do that? I could have, but I wouldn't leave such a clear sign that I had tampered with it. A clear sign? I didn't hear it until you pointed it out to me. A layman would probably not notice, but I've been working with audio since I was a child. There's no doubt that the will has been tampered with. It says the Brandenburg Law Firm on the box. We should head over there and take a look. Yes, absolutely. Could be the scoop of the year. But we can't just leave work. Meet you there tonight? Yes, let's do that. Da -da -da -da. The Brandenburg Law Firm building. Let's see what we can dig up. Okay. Actually, we need that. It's a pile of fruit boxes, so let's... Mm -hmm. hey. oh. A pile of empty fruit boxes. Should I bring one with me? Mm. Yes. I don't know why I'm picking this up. It might come in handy, I guess. Alright. Let's see. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of options here. Well, we can... A dark alley. I suppose it leads to the back of the house. 
Huh. It's dark here. Just one lamp lit. Maybe I can get into the law firm from here. Hey, there's a window. We can... A window that should lead inside the law firm. Someone is talking on the phone up there. The window is too high up. I need to get closer if I want to hear what he's saying. Right. What we can do is we can put the... A garbage dumpster. What do I do with it? Box on it. Rummage. No. Close. No. Do nothing. Close. There. The dumpster is closed. Oh, okay. Actually, wait. Um, so. The garbage dumpster. Rummage. Do. Oh, rum. You open. Rum. Use box. Well, I've managed to put a box on top of a dumpster. That's one thing off the bucket list. Okay. Now we can climb onto the window. The window. A box on top of a dumpster is very useful. You can, for instance, stand on top of it while you eavesdrop on a shady lawyer while he's on the phone. Should I climb up to the window? Yes. This should be exciting. She has no proof. <gasps> That's the creepy guy from the VIP room at the club. Was that lawyer Brandenburg? Yes, but take it easy. That reporter doesn't know anything. Richard edited her broadcast. No one will ever hear the original. <gasps> Richard. Okay, okay, we'll destroy the tape tonight. I still think you're overreacting. I'll be there as soon as I can. I just need to take care of something first. Oh my, I'd better find that tape before they destroy it. Carl's not here, so I have to do it myself. Good thing we did some I didn't reading. expect a slimeball lawyer to have such a nice little office. <sighs> no time to enjoy the scenery, Patricia. He could be back any moment. If I was some kind of evidence, where would I hide? A safe. Let's see. Where is it? 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 A safe. That seems promising. I've got my contact, Mike. Could we make it 3-0 for Patricia versus Locks today? Should I try to open it? Yes. Okay. Alright, let's hurry. Bloody up. The locking mechanism looks like the one on Richard's safe. I can do this. Uh, Wait. No! Ow. Chapter 4. Oh, my head. Charge with the right. Screen control. Frequency. Control center. Airplane mode. Switch button. Off. Double time to hold. Direct. Portrait. Power switcher. Right. Frequency missing. Active. That's it. Swipe on the fingers. Closing. Actions available. Three. Closing frequency missing. So, we Games. are going Heading. to continue. Double time to hold. Start. Airplane mode. Actually, since it will be the final part, I might, might do one tomorrow just to get it out of the way. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna wait and see. Anyway, Closing game I'll see you in the next Free house. video. Double open. Goodbye. Control center. Selected. Screen rolling. Button. 